No secret writing on that. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr! Please, let's be reasonable. Our people will not be here. Enough of this. Just tell me where they are. I will not reveal the location of the artifacts. Uh -uh. You're both being unreasonable. I want them all! You shall never have them. Okay, let's start again. The artifacts are safe. I better follow Elaine's advice and keep it to myself. Fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is mm, I don't think so. La Spunja Grande will not be given to these vile pirates. Enough of this. Just tell me where they are. Nah. You're both being unreasonable. We need like Sponge Grande more than you. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can I just say something? Both of you, shut up! Please, let's be reasonable. Our people will not give you. Give me the summoning artifacts. Nope. No secret writing on that. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr! Nope. These summoning artifacts are too important to me. That's not a good way. I don't want to use my... No way am I doing anything with this ring. Elaine would kill me if anything happened to it. I think it only works on Merfolk Clam... Again. So I see. These trees on Spoon Isle. Technically, sure. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr! Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are secret. Grande will not be given to these vile pirates. Again. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? Uh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are combined, and the ceremony of which your words recited a legendary scene. You mentioned summoning artifacts. Our pro Frankie Fish? Uh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. Then these... You all... Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr! Hello, sailor!
Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Let's head back to Flotsam Island. I'll get as close as I can. But with the winds blowing out now, we won't be able to reach land. Onward to Flotsam Island. We miss... sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain. Uh, I don't think I should bait my hook while in the merpeople town. I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr. It's a pile of fallen trees. I guess the fish aren't biting. More Vakalian ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace. Or maybe a barbecue? That won't do anything. are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to... Are you sure I can't turn the heat up for... Right. Just leave... Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. Artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless. How about a compromise? La Spunja Grande will not... Oh, 
shall never happen. Okay, let's start again. We need Lice Project One more than you. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can I just say something? Over you, shut up! Ah, uh, Grande, do not be given to these vile plans. Captain on deck! I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr! This fishy-looking guy still has one glass eye. Shoot! Why do I have this uncontrollable urge to poke at fish eyes? Now it's like a big red magnifying glass. Looks like DeCava wrote down the name of a book. 101 fish jokes. I wonder if it's a biography. Hello, sailor. Hello, Tetra. Can you get me in? Of course. Looking for anything in particular? 101 fish jokes. 101 fish jokes? Really? My ancestors have worked for centuries to gather these treasures of knowledge and preserve them within these walls so that our race will long be respected for our intellectual achievements. And you want fish jokes? Yep. <sighs> Fine. Here, this ought to enrich your understanding of Vicalian literature. Great. Hope it doesn't keep me in stitches or I might need a sturgeon. I hate you now. One hundred and one fish jokes. Hey, there's a coupon in here. I wonder if it's still good. Here you go, Emily. I've got a coupon here for something called Gozanos de Destino. Wow, that's an old coupon. I'm not even sure I still carry this stuff. Wait here. I need to check in the back. Found some. It was all the way in the back behind the monkey fingers. It's even still glowing. Ew. legs. Fishy. Hey, 
I think I feel a nibble. Come a little closer. Gotcha! Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, hold still! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Brush Streetwood, obtainer of cranky golden fish artifacts. Whew. Ships in and creating a blockade around the island. He's gonna tear this place apart if he doesn't get those summoning artifacts. I'm headed for higher ground. I'll be at the shop if you need me. Sir, I'll take the screaming narwhal out to sea before the blockade has a chance to move in, so she's not caught in the crossfire. Okay, I'll find a way to get out to you as soon as I find. Ah! Help! Elaine! Winslow, wait! I have to get a lane. I'll be right back. No time, sir. You'll have to find a way to slip past the blockade. I'll be waiting to pick you up. Is someone there? I need some help. Turn the heat up a little. Uh oh. If nobody saw it, it didn't happen. <sighs> no, see, buddy, what happened? McGillicuddy! He caught me off guard, knocked me out, and kidnapped Chieftain Beluga. I was working out a plan to rescue him, but then I got blindsided by a falling chunk of Mer statue, and now I'm stuck. I got ya. All right, let's sneak out to my ship and sail out of here. Right, your ship. That's perfect. I need one more ship for my plan. Oh, and we're not leaving yet. But... Okay, listen carefully. There's always a weak point on the blockade. We're going to use a classic two-point distract and skewer to take advantage of it. Double grid attractions, Fury. Got it. I'm going to get my ship out of hiding and provide a distraction on the east side. Your job is to get to the Spoon Isle Beach and distract them on the west. How do I do that? There's a cannon on the beach. Constant attacks from that should keep them occupied so someone else can slip through unnoticed. Who else is there? I also need you to tell the Chuck about his part. He needs to sneak through the weak point in the blockade once you and I have been distracted, then take your ship, sail out to McGillicuddy's flagship, sink it, and rescue Beluga. Actually, I think I should be the one to sail out there and do the valiant sinking and rescuing of the Mer King. Uh, Queen, whatever. Oh, sweetie, I wish you could. But the Pots has taken McGillicuddy over completely now. There's no reasoning with him anymore. But it's my ship and... I said, quit you whimpering! And throw some barnacles for Blackbeard's sake! I'm making the plans here, fancy pants! Yikes! Um, don't look now, but I think you might be slightly infected with the pox. Unless you want to find yourself in a match instead of hook hands, I suggest you do as I say. Yes, dear. Ooh. I've got to run, love. Go and find a chuck and tell him the plan. Hey, the chuck. Helene says you should see how many cannonballs you can fit in your stupid... I can hear you! Yes, dear. Ooh, wow, too hot! How did Helene not burn herself on these? There. Now they won't singe everything in my pockets.
Hey, come on, give us the golden sea turtle. We saw you pry it out of that altar. You'll have to pry it from my no longer cold, dead hand. The Chuck? Guybrush, get out of here. These guys think I still have the artifact, and they are willing to kill to get it back. Okay, but Elaine wants me to tell you something. It'll have to wait, Guybrush. I don't think these guys are going to let me leave without giving them the artifact first. Well, they're in there, but they really aren't hot enough to do anything. Hey, perfect fit! And they said that heating and air conditioning certificate I earned at Pirate Night School would never come in handy. Mmm, grilled parrot. Too bad this thing isn't hot. Now that's a barbecue! Sorry, little guy. Good thing you're not actually alive. What? It's me, Guybrush Threequarters, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's unsettling. Ooh, melty. Ouch! Hot! Over the edge you go. Bullseye. Bad. Good enough to fool the undiscerning pirate eye, anyway. Hey, look! Over here! A completely real Golden Sea Turtle artifact! That's impossible! I saw this guy take the artifact! We ain't going nowhere till he hands it over! Or we take it from him! Man, these guys are a tough sell. I'm glad I went into pirating instead of becoming a traveling salesman like my guidance counselor suggested. Hey guys, look! He's got the summoning artifact right here! He's right! Grab it, men! Arr, let me at him! You will never! Arr, give it here! Give it here! I got him! Ouch! Hold him down! I'll take you all off! <laughs> I got it! Ooh, that looks painful. Yar! <laughs> I don't know what happened. I used to be able to take on armies without blinking an eye. Now a handful of pox-stricken pirates can wrestle away the artifact? Ah, uh, don't beat yourself up, LeChuck. These guys did a good enough job. Besides, that turtle artifact they took was a fake. I still have the real one, nice and safe. Good thinking, lad. Where'd you learn to pull off a trick like that? That? Oh, I've been doing that kind of thing for years. In fact, I'm, uh, kind of famous for it. <laughs> I bet you are, boy. Now, you said Elaine had something she wanted you to tell me. Elaine told me she wants you to go out to the beach and use the cannon to provide a distraction for the blockade while I sail out and rescue the Merleader. Really? Are you sure that's what she said? Positive. We're buddies now, right? I wouldn't lie to you. Ha! I suppose you're right, Guybrush. I'll get right on it. Good luck, lad! Jerk.
looks like I might be able to sneak through the blockade here. Ha-ha! See if you can handle this, boys. They're shooting at me! Why are they shooting at me? Aha! This must be the weak point in the blockade. Now all I need to do is quietly sail through and... If it ain't a little pirate with a fancy coat, what smells like bacon? <coughs> huh? Hey, who's shooting at me? <coughs> Hoist your colours, you mangy sea dogs! Not one of you has the guts to sail out here and face me! Elaine! You're lucky I'm stuck in this blockade, you saucy female! Or I'd sail me ship right over you! Ha! So long, suckers. It was nice chatting with you again, but I've got a merleader to save. Where'd he go? Did you let him through? Me? If you didn't notice, I'm a little busy over here. Shooting blindly at a far-off island ain't exactly what I'd call busy, you sniveling spud scraper. See you again, Captain Threepwood. I knew you'd find a way past the blockade. Surely you have a wondrous story to share about the ordeal. Good to see you too, Mr. Winslow, but there's no time for stories now. We gotta take down McGillicuddy and save the Merleader. Fantastic, sir. Just point out his location on the map, and we'll be on our way. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow! Let's get McGillicuddy. Aye, aye, sir. Tell me the ritual summoning words, or I'll plunge you into the icy blue. I will not let you summon the legendary sea creatures. You will not have a Spongia Grande. Fine. Let's see how long it takes you to drown with your head submerged in the sea. <laughs> It'll be a while. I can breathe underwater too, you know. Don't tell me what I know, you oversized anchovy. I don't need to know stuff. I've got the pox. Lower the Merleader. Aye, aye, Captain. Lowering the Merleader. Captain McGillicuddy, prepare to be boarded and surrender the fish man. I don't think so, boy. The chieftain is going to tell me exactly where to find the artifacts so I can get to a Spongia Grande or end up as seagull pickings among the rocks when I run aground. Don't worry about me. The captain has lost his ability to reason. He thinks he's going to drown me. A merperson. You must keep the summoning artifacts safe, Guybrush. Guybrush? Threepwood! Then you're the one who stopped my men with this accursed cheap imitation summoning artifact! Arrgh. It's me, Skyrush Threepwood, Whitey Pirate. Uh oh. Arrgh. You'll rue the day you cross paths with me, boy! Rue? Ha! I really gotta look up that Skybrush, sink his ship! I'll deal with you later, Stickwood. I think old Finface here wants another dip.